Third year in a row, Evergreen Public Schools in Vancouver is facing major budget cuts. Right now, they're looking at a nearly $20 million budget shortfall. Catherine Cook was at tonight's school board meeting where parents shared concerns with many of the cuts on the table. Catherine. And Tim, maybe the biggest concern, a proposal to cut elementary school librarians. This after the district cut librarians from middle and high schools last year. And it doesn't end there. At Evergreen Public Schools headquarters Tuesday night, music was on many parents' minds. Yeah. And not just because of these Harmony Elementary School voices, yeah. but because of what the district might lose. Fifth grade orchestra is one of several items on the chopping block as the district braces for a $20 million budget shortfall. One fifth grader named Maddie asked the school board to keep orchestra and elementary school librarians whose jobs are also threatened. Orchestra has brought on my love for music. Librarians have had so much of an impact on students. They make them love reading. This will lead them to success when they have a job because no matter what job they will have, they're going to need to read. The thought of losing elementary school librarians has dozens of parents at a loss, especially after the district cut librarians at middle and high schools last year. These are the kids that still have the imagination, they still believe in the magic, and to have librarians taken away from them who can no longer show them and inspire them through books is devastating. This is the third year in a row Evergreen is facing a $20 million budget cut. And next year looks a lot more promising. Superintendent John Boyd also reminded parents he volunteered to take a $25,000 salary reduction and that they're still looking at all possible cuts. The surveys, the community meetings, the outreach with the advisory groups have all been important for us to listen to while continuing to focus on our goals of our strategic plan and the necessity of balancing our budget. For some parents like Megan Taylor, that's not enough. As district enrollment dwindles, she's thinking about leaving as well. 100% to the point that my student has, my son has been sad and it's going to make me cry, thinking that we may put him into a private school because I'm not going to continue to invest all my time and energy into the school district that is not investing in our students. Also on the chopping block, security. The district may reduce middle school security personnel from three per school down to one. And some paraeducators and intervention specialists may also get cut. Teachers who help students with special learning needs. Please help us go back and look at the drawing board. See some other areas that you can cut above literacy. And at school districts. Thank you. The district is also looking to cut 30 positions in the district office to save three and a half million dollars. The school board will take the next two weeks to consider everything on the table and return to vote on March 26th. Tim. It's a lot again, Catherine, thanks.